Hey, I just had this crazy thought that we are always the center of everything. We are always the observer. Even the body dies, but we are always the observer. And even after death, all what we have to do is, we, you know, it, we're constantly observing in some form. And we don't remember that we were Galileo, like, because we're, we're always in a new form with a new, a new name and a new fresh perspective on reality. And we have to learn to understand ourselves quicker. And it's so hard to do that. That's the, that's the hardest thing for humanity to do is to understand itself. So it, people have struggled with it for years, and you see, like every once in a while, you'll get like somebody that really understands themselves, and people herald them as like a prophet or some some they put them up on a pedestal, and that's the problem because everyone can understand themselves, and some people just like it's almost like they slip through the cracks and somehow come away with like this understanding. But I think that it's not really slipping through the cracks. It's just like some people are are raised really well and are nurtured to think. And a lot of times it comes in societies when people don't have to fight for their food. They're not struggling <coughs> physically much. You live in like in a safe environment. Somehow, maybe, I don't know. There's all other people, sometimes people just really get it quickly. I think the, the way that happens is if you're told it. If people tell you if your parents are understand themselves and they communicate with you when you're a child, then you will understand yourself as a child and you'll have such a balanced perspective of reality growing up. But unfortunately, so many people in the society that I was raised through, including my parents, were a bit distracted and freaking out. My mom was Catholic raised Catholic, went to Catholic school. My dad was in the military, he went into the Navy. His dad was in World War II. My mom's dad was in World War II. So they had a lot of distraction rather than looking at themselves. And it's, it's, you know, it's just been hard for the human race to look at itself. Television helped. My mom went psychotic for the Beatles, not psychotic, but she loved them. Because look at that, look at what humanity can do when you see them. So the video has accelerated our understanding process. Now what we're doing is, of course this body's going to die eventually, but we can leave our imprints for our next incarnation because we are always the center of the experience. It doesn't go away. Don't fear the death, but don't bring the death. Let the death happen when you're 80. Let it, let it live, live to, sh to, to, to understand more and to show more. That is very important. But also do not fear the death because we always are alive. We're always, it's the body that goes and the body's memory. So don't, you know, don't throw it away. Document it for the future generations and build things, sustainable things for the future generations. I wanted to share that thought and let it develop on video.